Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button, get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County in Ontario themed city. And make sure to hit the like button. The like button helps the channel a lot. Uh, I hope you liked uh, last week's episodes where we built a partial cloverleaf. Um, we did some city detailing and uh, we started the university. Yeah, it's a pretty good week. And it's the first week of our uh, short, uh, of our broken down broken week up or broken week that's that's the word i'm <laughs> using for it uh three days a week because um i'm been doing lots of traveling this week seeing my parents and whatnot so um we are also doing three episodes a week this week and then after that we'll be back to five days a week uh for this foreseeable future though i think there may be one week in september where i have to do this as well but that is because i am moving um and <laughs> As you may know, it, moving is, uh, there's a lot going on. So I just don't know if I can get those extra two episodes out. So I just want to give you the heads up in advance, well, a month in advance, I guess. Um, anyway, so in today's episode, we are going to look at leveling up the university because uh, it just leveled up. As soon as I started uh, recording, uh, I got the little ping that it, that it, uh, that it uh, leveled up. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to look at maybe doing some other building in the downtown core and that's what we'll be doing this week where we will we will be looking at doing building because the last few weeks we've been doing lots of infrastructure development transit stuff like technically we should probably look at upgrading that that bus right there because there's lots of people waiting but we've been doing lots of that so i want to change it up change it up a bit and we're gonna be doing lots of building this week then next week we're probably gonna get back to a bunch of that and uh, yeah we might have to look at what's going on there so <laughs> anyways uh, let's uh, let's hop into it after this beautiful view of the rainbow road all right so here we go we just leveled it up uh, so we'll be starting off with the university today then we're gonna look at doing some other unique buildings downtown and then some residential development so we've got the cafeteria the liberal arts fountain the gymnasium and the outdoor study which is one that I was really um, hoping to get soon so I'm glad we got that because usually these things are so massive that they kind of go out of place in your city but I've been kind of planning for this one so first of all let's just make sure that our campus or where our campus area uh, ends so I'm just gonna make sure I'm just gonna bring it up a bit farther uh, today and let's take a look so we got to get to 450 we already have enough students we got to get some academic works so we're pumping out some let's go with music this time uh, we're pumping out some academic works that is fantastic uh, let's dive into the build okay oh that's not education is an industry according to me <laughs> um, all right so liberal arts and we are going to go right to the liberal arts outdoor study perfect okay so uh i thought this was going to be a bit bigger <laughs> but uh, we'll stick with this so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to plop down Right about here and then we're going to look at extending it out um, as best we can with pathways uh, that we have and we're gonna kind of fill it in a bit to make it seem like this this asset uh, you know went all the way over here like uh, it was built for this whole space you know so that's what we will start off doing uh, you know I, I like using or doing this with with assets it's uh, I think it's a bit realistic too because obviously you wouldn't just leave it like that right <laughs> so uh, yeah let's get another one in right here I think this path is a bit off so we will have to look at fixing that with the movement mod and then I do have a couple mods that I think we might look at uh, in tomorrow's episode and they've been mod suggestions um, that some of you viewers have uh, suggested so uh, most of them have to do with how my road networks have been and yeah, it's been a bit sloppy, uh, but you know, they won't be sloppy anymore. So <laughs> there we go. Ooh, let's just use the movement mod here for this. And I am recording this uh, last week for you guys, and Biffa just released a video about it. So convenient. <laughs> All right, so I think that'll probably be good enough to kind of fill it in. And now let's look at getting in some similar trees to what. Uh, uh, already exist here. So let's try to find that tree. I think that's it. I think there's a bigger version of that though. Oh, maybe not. No, that is it. Okay. Well, we will. 
that's a big one. We will just kind of place them uh, a bunch because it seems like uh, this asset used this tree quite a lot. So this will be a nice area to uh, go out and enjoy studying, reading your books. There we go, that's pretty good. And you know, we could add some picnic tables and stuff like that throughout here, but um, perhaps we will save that for a full university detailing episode. Oh my god. This is gonna burn down. We don't have fire helicopters in the city, and fire trucks can't get there. <laughs> Alright, well, good thing we caught that. Uh, let's get our first fire helicopter depot. <laughs> so we'll pause the game while we do that, and we gotta think off the top of our heads, where would a fire helicopter depot be? Well, uh, it definitely be, need to be closer to water, right? So here's a lake right here. I was planning on using this lake for a bit of a community development. Um, and speaking of that, uh, we're gonna be developing like a cottage country out this way, uh, and probably our forestry industry as well. Um, so let's think about this. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it was out over here. There's lots of open space. Perhaps it's tied with our water treatment plant. We've got to go through a security checkpoint to get here. Um, hmm, you know, I really didn't think about this. Usually I plan ahead, or quite a bit ahead. And we, yeah, why don't we uh, tie it into our um, water treatment plant area? So let's get the smaller road, industrial road. Oh, no, I wasn't the right one. And we will bring it out ever so slightly. And we'll bring it down. And then from about here, let's uh, bring this road out. And then we will get the fire helicopter depot. Oop, wrong one. All right, so I'll click that in. And then I'm just going to readjust uh, this road to move it to kind of avoid what we've done. So I'm just going to swing it in just so that that looks like you can technically walk there. And then here's where I'm going to start holding alt down. Oh, wow. So this is uh, an interesting <laughs> roadway right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the node controller and we're just going to square off the node and that should honestly do it. But let's, uh, let's offset it a bit more. That's good with me. And yeah, that's fine. We don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then let's just, uh, for the sake of it, let's take all these nodes and just make them the same height as the building. All right. Very nice. So I really don't like how this asset has trees in it. It's a helicopter depot. You'd think that they would be very conscious about the helicopters and the fact that there's trees there. <laughs> so... I don't know what's going on with that. Um, so I was also thinking that maybe we should get like an office building in here. And I know we've used the, oh gosh, where is it? Uh, it's over here. The road, uh, what's it called? Oh my gosh, my brain today. Road maintenance depot before. Um, but if we click on this, the road maintenance, yeah, like this is where we have it for our power plant as like the office for the power plant company. We put one over here it'll really help out this area so yeah you know what that's pretty good uh, pretty convenient let's place that down that'll be like the office for the water treatment plant and I guess the water treatment plant also runs <laughs> the um, the fire helicopter depot uh, now I don't know if this building well of course this building will use this building spawn points mod um, but it looks like we should probably shift it down to here so let's swing this out to about there, and then we'll bring it in. Awesome. And then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, let the sim run. Put it to three speed. Hopefully, these guys will head out to go put out the, the, the fire over in our university. Let's see, am I on three speed? Yeah, I am. 
It's taking a little while. Okay, we're gonna get the dip in uh, Brockton River. And we're gonna go all the way over here. We might lose that building. But uh, this is pretty good, uh, pretty good views. Can I look around while I'm doing this? No, I can't. Yeah, this has been on fire for quite some time. The city had a whole uh, opportunity to build a fire depot. <laughs> okay, did we save the students? Did someone microwave aluminum again? That happened uh, too often when I was in uh, residence at school. So, fortunately, only one fire copter came out this way. And kids are still just walking by like it's nothing. <laughs> okay, well, you know what we should do? Just continue building. We built uh, the fire depot. We did all we could. Let's get the gymnasium. So, the gymnasium is <laughs> so funny building it while there's a giant fire going on. Um, the gym is probably something that the students would probably want. Oh, cool. I can attach to the parking lot. Uh, pretty close to them, right? Oh, it's still on fire. Holy cow. But uh, it's not something that I think, especially this type of building, it looks like it should probably be something that is not in prime real estate. So why don't we place it... I mean, it does look pretty grand though, actually. But uh, we need to start developing out this way a bit, so why don't we try to center it right on this intersection. Oh! Uh, we need to move it because it has a parking lot, so clearly it needs to be on a road. Uh, now, there are a few opportunities for us to get roadways uh, through the university. So I guess this is where we're going to start looking at that. Um, let's go with our tree-lined roads. And then right from here, we have an intersection. So we will drag it out right to the end. We also have one here. Now, I don't think we should connect to this road, Willow Avenue. Willow Avenue is a pretty major road, and it's going to connect down into here. But again, we are going to save a bunch of this for future develop future episodes. We're taking a break from infrastructure development. Um, now, this one does end in the university, so we could drag one, drag a road into here, which could be cool, or we just force them. Off here now it it does seem like a too good of an opportunity opportunity to pass up on doesn't it but you know what we could do is we could just simply we don't need to make it or keep it as like a major road right so we can make it like a one-way road so that it forces people to go into the university area so why don't we try to do that first how about we drag it out to about here and why don't we use uh, the new tool, so the network multi-tool, which is something that I was going to feature next episode. But uh, why don't we do that uh, right now? So, create a connection. Let's connect to here, to here, and then we want from this node to this node. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can make this a bit smoother. Yeah, you know what, I think like a curved road would probably be a bit better. That's pretty good though. Yeah, this um this new mod is awesome. It contains a bunch of stuff. It has the unlock segment, which is uh this mod right here that we have. Uh the touch it mod. It has create a loop, it has create connection, set slope, align intersect segments mode, which is almost like the uh, node controller, uh, invert segment, uh, add a node, remove a node, tons of stuff. So you just kind of click it in with shift and whatnot, and then you can kind of adjust it like so. All right, let's try. I guess that works. And then you just press enter, and then boom. And we could also just use the move it mod to just kind of touch it a bit. Oh, there's two nodes right there. Hmm, maybe this uh, wasn't the best opportunity to showcase this. Because I think I'd prefer just to do this one manually. Yeah, that's much nicer. 
much more kind of along the lines of what I was thinking. Um, and then let's take let's take a normal road because I feel like it's going to be parking at some point, right? And then right where this road starts to curve, uh, we'll connect up with this one. And we could also connect into here. But what's really the point, right? So I think we'll leave that off. And it looks like we have an issue with the zoning here. There we go. Um, all right, so now that we have opportunity for the gym to connect to a roadway, let's uh, look at revising this a bit. So what we could do is we could plus pop it down right here, which would be a good introduction to the university as well. It's a pretty cool looking building and you know, if you're coming from the city, you can still go to the, the, the school's gym. Yeah, you know what, I think we'll leave it here for now. Um, and then let's look at some other items because we spent a long time just kind of fiddling around with that stuff. And I went into industry again. Apparently, I do think that school is an industry. <laughs> All right, drama club, I think we got last time. The cafeteria, now the cafeteria should probably be closer to the students. Now, I, why, if there is parking on this, it's gonna piss me off. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, looks like we need to bring a road pretty much into here. Hmm. Well, pretty simply enough, we can just Get a road connection into here now, so... Oh, yeah. Burned down. We didn't get in... Fix, we didn't fix it in time. That's okay. We shall rebuild the university. Or the dormitory. Then we just need to reconnect it with move it. This isn't perfect enough. Let's uh, get it to the same height as the other one. There we go. Yeah, close enough. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so uh, now let's look at deleting this. And then we shall bring in... Hmm. This road could be cool. Why don't we go with uh, the one with grass? And we'll bring it... We'll bring it right up to this point. Hmm. Okay, let's go from here. Yeah, okay, perfect. And then we will grab the picker mod, and I just... Oh, there we go, the picker mod. I want whatever this is. And we'll connect in right here. And then just like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back it up. About right here. Okay, this is a bit weird. Because I want them, I want this to kind of seem like it's the same pathway, but you need to make sure it has that strong connection. So we'll see how this works. I don't know if anyone's going to really run, run by here right now, but uh, that's okay. So pretty much the median here is uh, good because there's going to be cars that are parking to drop people off all the time. <laughs> they, do, they do a little dance right here. Oh, no, that person didn't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Alright, so I'm just going to Hold it back, we'll bring it back, and then what I'll do is I'll just uh, use pathway and I'll just connect it up here as well. And I, I hope that path connection still exists. Let's see if anyone takes this uh, this road. No, they don't. They aren't. Ah, oh, that's okay. We'll, we'll see if uh, we can fix that in the future. Uh, anyway, so let's... Um, oh, right back to industry, industry again. Silly me. So, you know, this would, would now be a better place now that we have this road. This would now be a better place for this gym. So why don't we plop that down right here. Okay. So, just trying to respect the assets. 
um, and what they are asking me to do with them in the cafeteria. Uh, let's try to place it down right here. Yeah, I mean, that parking lot just doesn't work in that angle, so we'll have to go back to this angle then, um, and that's fine. Um, and then what we can do is we can uh, get some pathways behind here and whatnot, get some good parks in. Oh, we built a cafeteria. All right, well, you know what we'll do? We'll just plop it down over here for now because we're probably gonna need a second one a second one, anyways. Um, all right, so we got that, and then we got the liberal arts fountain. Now, this is too big. All right, I was curious if that was gonna be too big or not. Um, that's okay, um, It's because it's perfectly placed right here. And that was intentional. And then this way we can kind of get like maybe one building in here and make it uh, look a bit nice. Like we have the School of Education, which I know we've talked about maybe building its own campus. But, I mean, this is a pretty cool looking building, right? And if we kind of get, get it, place it right, it could be a pretty cool centerpiece for this area. Yeah, it's a cool building. All right, so let's uh, add the picker mod. Let's grab this, whatever the pathway this is. I just wanna make sure I get the right one, you know? Um, and we have trees here, and it looks like those trees are part of the building. So what we'll do is, oh, you know what? This isn't centered to this. Just want to center it just like that. Perfect. <laughs> and this building doesn't have parking. But this building has parking. Okay, looks like we'll probably have to get some parking lots in here. That's fine. Okay, so we got this. Let's grab the one with decorations, actually. And then from here, we will just go right behind the School of Education. Mm, you know what? We're going to go with uh, the non-decorative one. And right from here, we'll use the decorative one just to connect up. Okay, well, unfortunately, we might, need, we might have to lose this one. Okay. So I really want to make sure we get this pathway in properly. Okay, and then right here, I mean, we could just connect up like that. Just unfortunate that I can't, uh, I can just curve it, I guess. Let's make this straight right up to the end of this. And then we'll curve it until it disappears. Nice. And then uh, let's get the normal pavement. How about that? about here. I really want to connect up. I would like it if it just kind of like that. Perfect. You'll see why in a second. Perfect. Okay. And then now if I can grab the movement mod. Nice. Just going to shift that out of the way. There it is. Okay, if we do that, Technically, that pathway is going to connect without disrupting the look of the uh, um, this pathway, with like a node intersection. So let's put it back. Awesome. And then what we can do right here is add in some trees. Does that tree really work there? It doesn't. This is more of like a standalone tree type area. All right. Cool. So we gotta make sure we get water out this way. And I'll reset the play or the, the simulation. Water out this way. And I just want to make sure we get water over there. 
Perfect. So our uh, our yeah attraction is just shot up with that building. Um, so you know we we really could get this uh, this episode if we if I delay long enough. Ah, probably not because we're already at 25 minutes or 20 minutes for you guys. Um, okay, so let's take another peek at some of the buildings that we have. So, I mean, we already have two cafeterias. That's more than enough. We could get another set of dorms over here as well, uh, which would also be pretty useful. And then we could also look at getting in another study hall as well. But I mean, if you're going to like your lectures, it's probably um, lecture rooms in, in this building and this building. And there's also lecture rooms here. No one's using this overflow parking. So let's get a couple more dorms in here. And I think this would be a good spot for one. Uh, I don't know. I think we could get some cooler buildings in here. We've got three dorms for now. I think that'll be fine. Okay. Take, I take it back. Um, let's go with some parking lots. Just some more informal ones, and I know that these ones will fit perfectly here, so. Perfect. I kind of like the ability to advertise here as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, and then uh, what I want to do is I just want to get like a pathway behind here. Um, let's go with the dirt path. And then I want all these guidelines off. And then just to connect up to about here. Then I'll do the same trick as we did before. Uh, just to get these pathways to connect, but also like not really connect, you know? There we go, it's pretty good. Fantastic, all right. So we could probably get another uh, pathway through here to connect behind. And I just need to use the movement mod again to adjust the node or uh, the pathway. All right, and then we're going to go back to our surface painter uh, mod, which is a mod we highlighted last episode. Or not last episode, last week, I think. I think it was last week. And just to fill in that blank. And we can't really use that over here because if we do, it'll look a little bit weird. So we'll back that away. Um, you know, I think it might work in this sense, but those, those silly bushes. Why don't we use uh, this one instead? Kind of looks like mulch, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Let's do that. Whoa. All right. This is very touchy. Now if we do that, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll have to leave this then. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Um, but we should definitely look at filling this in with mulch. It's like, I think technically it's like, it's gravel, but it looks like mulch, doesn't it? Okay, that's fine. We'll leave those buildings. And then let's just get this all filled in with gravel. <laughs> this time it's gravel. I think we did this last time and we didn't like it either. Oops. I don't know. I think it kind of looks good. That's too, too much. Alright, cool. Uh, so we'll end that. And then I want to get a couple more... Uh, hmm. I wanted to get some more buildings in place, but I think we're kind of 
running out and I want them to be a bit more featured in the episode rather than kind of like a bit of an afterthought. So why don't we uh, just do some zoning then to end the episode because we have 3% unemployment. Uh, we need to get some more residents out this way. And one last check. Do we have any varsity sports unlocked? We, do, we have them all unlocked right away. Wow, okay, well. I could definitely get the track and field uh, park out this way. Interesting. Get it kind of like this. That could be cool. It's pretty prominent in the university. Uh, the football stadium is too big for a Canadian university. The baseball diamond, I like using more as like a city, uh, a city prop. Um, the aquatic center, I, I don't, I don't mind. I think this is a bit realistic to see in a university setting. This type of, of stadium, at least. But I think we'll save those for another day, and we'll be kind of add sports in. So yeah, let's look at some zoning here. So. Uh, one thing I want to do is I want to remove this one because I know I want to do something else with the square. Uh, and we'll just move it uh, right here. Pretty simple. Um, let's see. We're pretty good with the university or uh, schooling. Uh, yes, yeah, so I wanted to save this one and this square. And then maybe this square as well. So let's take a quick peek at some things I want to do. I want to add in this tower but I haven't really picked out exactly where would be a good spot I think we need to develop this area more until we really pick it out because like uh, you know it could really actually just be like something right over here but we really need to look at getting the downtown going now that we have our urban schools in place uh, and then we can start kind of really really looking at, the, at this in the future are looking at the future development of this uh, area. Why don't we, uh, instead of zoning here, because we don't really have much space to zone. I mean, we do have empty space, but let's look at uh, completing some of the road networks throughout the, uh, the city here. So we'll just um, turn on our guidelines. There we go. And let's just kind of see where the grid lines take us. Uh, you know what, I don't want to connect these up yet because I want to make sure that our grids are staying somewhat proper. Um, okay, so let's take a look at how the city will end because I think once this, once we realize where this, the, the downtown is going to really like end is where we can start looking at some cool development out this way. And I don't want to take it too, too far because I kind of want some suburbs. I'm thinking like suburbs out this way. So we're really looking at the downtown over here. And I need to recess this back before we do anything else with this area. So I guess what we're looking at doing then, whoops, let's uh, just take that out. There we go, that's a better connection. Um, I think that's a different road. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, let's just get some grids in here. See what's gonna happen with uh, with them. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then if this was to continue, we have all this space to develop with the downtown. And then same with uh, all through here. Although I don't really know if we can develop uh, this area, like I don't want to like permanently develop this area until we change this intersection. So like I really do think we're getting we're getting into lots of infrastructure development, which I hope you are all ready for. Okay, and we also need to look at getting the tram line in as well in the future. So that's going to be exciting. I think we are going to see a pretty uh, big residential park in here. Okay, let's uh, let's look at that. Actually, since we have some time, just just for the road network, um, let's get 
this one. Yeah. Okay. And then the distance between these two nodes is 12 units. So I'll try to copy that. It's 11. It's probably 12. And then I'll just kind of connect them up. And we don't really need that road for this entire thing. But what we do need is to switch around. Perfect. And then right from here is where we will um, get our little grid in place. Let's do that first. And then right from about here. Oops. There we go. The reason I'm doing three is because it might need to straight through at some point. Um, but we'll leave it for now. We, I won't even really set up the uh, traffic manager. This is this is just a really informal kind of look at how this road system is going to work. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then if we get our one connection through here. Uh, we upgrade these roads, or downgrade them, I guess. And then, why don't we look at kind of something like this, so we don't overwhelm that node. And then we'll bring this road down. Yeah, you know, just kind of filling in the space sporadically, but also with a bit of thought. And you can kind of end up with some pretty cool uh, neighborhoods. And if you kind of think about it, if you look at like uh, uh, major um, residential high-rise districts in some more blue-collar cities, I think you kind of see some some things like this. I think this is going to be a bit of a transition area. We're going to see some high-rises over here, and then maybe some some lower-density housing. But like really just like a, a housing area and we're gonna get some nice connections through here or some uh, pedestrians as well I think that's a good size and then what we'll do is we'll take this one unit road and then I'll just kind of do a bit of a bit of an alleyway kind of kind of vibe okay and then now that we have uh, most of the network in place. Actually, no. Let's uh, let's scratch this, and let's go to a straight road. And let's see how far this will take us. Let's turn uh, snapping off. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, and then why don't uh, why don't I get this um, pedestrian pathway connection through? I think we're gonna need two in particular. Let's see if uh, this is elevated. Well, let's actually just elevate it. And I think these are elevated. See, so we're gonna get one pathway connection from here to here, or kind of do like a bit of a, a Y, and then probably from here into here. So let's make sure we have uh, this road. We'll upgrade it. I think it already is elevated. Nice. Okay, and then so after this, we'll uh, we'll end the episode. Um, let's take uh, just our normal park path. And we will just, pretty simply, I'm gonna pause the game while I do this. Uh, let's go with freeform. We're gonna go underneath the highway here. And then we're gonna connect up. Okay, let's turn snapping off again. Okay, I'll just place it in right there and then I'll just use move it. Okay, the reason why I'm so comfortable doing this uh, over here is because I know that 
it's going to be really easy to sink these into the ground because we've done them before and make it look uh, still kind of relatively normal. So I'm just trying to sneak this pathway in, you know. So we're kind of hitting this post a little bit. We're still fine. We're fine there. Yeah, that's that works. Um, and then let's find the next node. And then what I like doing with this is uh, just to bring them underneath the road that we're kind of going to fit underneath. And just simply doing that. There we go. So that is a bit high still. Okay, let's uh, take a little bit here. And then what I want to do is, here we go, just nodes. That way I can grab the park path node again. Nice. And then... Ah, so I think what happened here... Oh, no. Is it trying to connect up there? Or did we not elevate this? Oh, I thought we elevated that. And then we need to go on ground level here. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> and then we just need to connect up. All right. So I'm gonna grab both of these nodes here. We're gonna lower both of them into the ground a bit. did and then I think what we can do instead is we can raise this one up a bit because so we have a lot of space to readjust on that side okay so we can climb we can sneak underneath here sneak under here uh, let's see where the next node is that is the next node or whoa I think if we do that, and then if I move it to about here. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. I just want to make sure that we don't get this little stupid uh, connection there. Okay, there we go. It's so weird that that does that. And then we're fine right here. We're fine, really. But I will fix it. Okay, so we got that one in place, pretty simple. And then let's also, uh, we could do an, an overpass on this side. Ah, it's okay. Grab both of these, lower them into the ground. And then let's pretty much do a similar thing. I'm just gonna kind of use the straight road here though. I'm gonna go like that and then in. And then from about here, actually, let's do this side first. Okay. And let's see how this worked out. Yeah, I don't know if <laughs> this really worked out on this side. Because we got to get pretty low. Yeah, okay. You know what? We can just uh, remove this side. And then I can also whoops, bring this one back up to the same height as that, which is apparently lower. <laughs> um, all right, and then we can grab this, bring it to this height, and I think we'll have to make this one work. So connect this one. And let's grab these two nodes, scooch it up just a bit, just to kind of give us a bit of an advantage here. Just kind of tweak them until it looks like you can probably walk underneath it, you know? That's pretty good. And then this one I want to set to the same height as that. Oh. All 
right? Whoops. And then I'm going to grab these two nodes and we're going to lower them. Thank you. And then we're going to select buildings as well. And then we're going to grab these two buildings and we're going to set them to the same height. Um, all right. And then what we can do is we can just kind of adjust it ever so slightly to pretty much make it seem a bit more realistic. That's a good height. And we need to adjust this note as well. Just back ever so slightly so that the pillar, I don't know, it's really hard to see because we're jumping onto the buildings, but this pillar was on the pathway and now it is not. Okay, and then let's just try to readjust a bit more of this stuff. Okay, and then what we'll do is uh, we'll take the smoothing tool, turn with the brush size a bunch, well, maybe not that much. Okay, and then I'll just kind of smooth it out. Ah, I think this is too low. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we'll take the smoothing tool out over here. All right. Now that we've done that, I'll let the sim go again, and then I'm gonna zone in some high rises in here. I'm gonna take that one out and this one. I think what we'll do is we'll try to make it so we can get two high rises in here. Zone into here. Um, and then we need to make sure we get a nice pathway connection. Just a really simple one, you know? Just like that, and then right here as well. All right, so let's set up this junction really quickly and then we'll kind of end it for today. So let's uh, just for now, what we're gonna do is just turn off the, the traffic light and we preemptively set this up to be Bit better than it is. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think this needs to be dedicated turning lanes. I think we might just cause more problems. Uh, okay. And this is a traffic light. Uh, I don't know if we need that. That's going to be a bit nicer of a connection. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. Let's grab the node controller here. Oh, look at that. We leveled up to level three for. Look, we did end up uh, building for or getting this this episode. So we'll do that uh, next episode. And uh, yeah, okay. That sounds pretty good with me. Let's get the node controller in and then we will kind of end the episode. Um, okay, so let's. Make it a middle node. Oh no, that's not what it is. Let's go back to custom. Let's bring it together again. And then what we need to do is go into traffic manager. Silly me. Turn off the crosswalks. And then make it even more kind of to kind of show you what I'm kind of looking at here is something like this. So you can kind of get into both turning lanes, you know? <laughs> All right, so then uh, we'll set up this one with dedicated turning lanes, and this doesn't need to be a light, so turn off the traffic light. And we'll do something similar to this side, but uh, for now, ooh. Ah, and uh, yeah, this is the European theme, isn't it? Okay, well, I gotta make sure that I fix that, so I guess this video isn't over. And 
Uh, because we need to make this a new district as well. So I'll make this a new district. Walnut Hills. Um, you know what? If you want to name this, uh, this district, it's just going to be a residential district with maybe a high school in it. Um, let me know. If you stuck around this long. <laughs> um, Alright, well, uh, have a great day, everyone. And I'll catch you next time. Let's go from this angle. Hmm. It's more bright this way. Peace out. Holy cow. There we go.